Good evening, my dear friends, and welcome to Tuesday Evening Vespers. It is the third Tuesday of Advent, and it's not long till Christmas Day. So I welcome you on behalf of all my brothers and sisters of the Teo community of interfaith Franciscans. And as we come together, we light a candle for peace. And we light it for the children of Syria who are living with their mums and dads in tent city in freezing conditions without proper clothing or footwear. So we offer this light in thanksgiving to our Father Mother God to touch the hearts of those who can help them. So we light this light in the name of our beloved Father Mother God who creates all life in the name of the risen cosmic Christ who loves life in the name of the Spirit who is the fire of life in the name of Gaia our beloved Earth Mother for she nurtures the divine in all life including the animal kingdom and in the name of all faith traditions and none they are the sons and daughters of the same God albeit known by a different name our brothers and sisters and in the name of spiritual diversity on behalf of all my brothers and sisters around the world members of the Teo community of interfaith Franciscans we welcome you to this table where we shall praise the one loving God together and we begin with our prologue for our Tuesday evening communions which reads we enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly father mother God the earthly mother and all the great masters and reverence to the holy pure and saving teaching and reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the elect Tuesday evening we commune with the angel of power saying angel of power descend upon my acting body and direct all my acts as you contemplate the stars their radiations and the cosmic ocean of life you begin to experience the cosmo vital forces from the stars being absorbed by the nervous system of the acting body. And now, my dear friends, we come to the Divine Office of Vespers for the third Tuesday of Advent from the Lectured Divina. O God, come to my aid. O Lord, make haste and help me. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And our evening hymn this evening The co eternal Son, a maiden's offspring, see, a servant's form, Christ putteth it on to set his people free. Daughter of Zion, rise to greet thine infant king, nor let thy stubborn hearts despise the pardon he doth bring. Let deeds of darkness fly before the approaching morn, for unto sin tis ours to die and serve the virgin born. Our joyful praises sing to Christ that set us free, like tribute to the Father Mother bring, and Holy Ghost to Thee. So let us just be still for a moment and come into the presence of a loving God. Let us just relax in the presence 
and know that we are loved. Be still now, my brothers and sisters. Be still. And the first antiphon for evening vespers this Tuesday reads, The Lord will come from his holy place. He will come to save his people. And now we read Psalm 124. Those who put their trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion that cannot be shaken, that stands forever. Jerusalem, the mountains surround her, so the Lord surrounds his people, both now and forever. For the scepter of the wicked shall not rest over the land of the just, for fear that the hands of the just should turn to evil. Do good, Lord, to those who are good, to the upright of heart. But the crooked and those who do evil drive them away. On Israel, peace. And now we pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord will come from his holy place. He will come to save his people. And the second antiphon, we have a strong city, Zion. The Savior will set up wall and rampart to guard it, open the gates, for God is with us. Alleluia. And now we read Psalm 130. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor haughty my eyes. I have not gone after things too great, nor marvels before me or beyond me. Truly I have set my soul in silence and peace. As a child has rest in its mother's arms, even so my soul. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. Together let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We have a strong city, Zion. The Saviour will set up wall and rampart to guard it. Open the gates, for God is with us. Alleluia. And the third antiphon. Let us know your way on earth, Lord, that all the peoples know your saving power. And now we have a canticle reading from the book of Revelation. Worthy are you, O Lord our God, to receive glory and honour and power, for you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. Worthy are you, O Lord, to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed many for God, from every tribe and tongue, people and nation. You have made us a kingdom and priests, to serve our God, and we shall reign on earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and wealth, and wisdom, and might, and glory, and honour, and blessing. Let us pray the glory together. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
Let us know your way on earth, Lord. Let all the people know your saving power. And we have a special reading today, the 17th of December. Just bear with me a moment. Here we go. And the scripture reading is from Paul to 1 Timothy. May the God who gives us peace make you comfortably His and keep you whole being spirit, soul and body free from all fault at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls you will do it for He is faithful. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the short response read to Vespers is, Come to us and save us, Lord God Almighty. Come to us and save us, Lord God Almighty. Let your face smile on us and we shall be saved. Come to us and save us, Lord God Almighty. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Teacher to the Holy Spirit of God. Come to us and save us, Lord God Almighty. And the Magnificat Antiphon, O Wisdom, you come forth from the mouth of the Most High. You fill the universe and hold all things together in a strong yet gentle manner. O come to teach us the way of truth. And now I invite you, my dear friends, to join me as we say the Magnificat, the Canticle of Mary. My soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, who is my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth, all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and exalts the lowly. He fills the starving with good things and sends the rich away empty-handed. He protects Israel, his servant, like his prophets from of old, like the sons of Abraham. Let us pray the glory. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Wisdom, you come forth from the mouth of the Most High, you fill the universe and hold all things together in a strong yet gentle manner. O come to teach us the way of truth. And now, my dear friends, we come to our evening intercessions. And here I would like to invite you that if you have any requests that you would like us all to hold together in prayer before the Most High, then please leave it in the message board. The Son of God is coming with great power. All mankind shall see his face and be reborn. Response. Come, Lord Jesus, do not delay. You will bring us wisdom, fresh understanding, and new vision. Response. Come, Lord Jesus, do not delay. You will bring us good news and power which will transform our lives. Response. O oh, come, excuse me, come Lord Jesus, and do not delay. 
you will bring us truth, showing us the way to our Father, Mother, God. Response, come Lord Jesus, do not delay. Born of a woman, you will open in our flesh the way to eternal life and joy. Response, come Lord Jesus, do not delay. And this evening we pray with Sister Elizabeth for a happy birthday to our Holy Father, Pope Francis. May the Lord bless this good man and give him your peace. We also pray for the good news we heard today that Sister Elizabeth's son Larry is allowing her keep little brother Chewy. That is good news and that is an answer to prayer. Thank you God for this little boy is a little healer. He's a therapist in his own right and I know that St. Francis will use him to support our two sisters there in Philadelphia. We pray this evening for all who are here both logged in and not logged in. We ask God's blessing on you. We ask God's blessing on dear Nirmala and our brother Kida in Zurich. We ask a special blessing on those who've given their lives to God in divine service and especially in our community. We pray for Elizabeth and Eleanor, for Teresa, for Sister Jen and Olivia. We pray for Sister Miriam in Greater Manchester and Miriam in New Zealand. We remember Sister Sue in Blackpool and we thank God for blessing this amazing little worker who touches so many lives in that therapeutic cafe. And we pray for Brother Harry and all his numerous family problems. We ask God's blessing on him and on his father and brother. Excuse me, we pray for all our presenters on live stream and for all who come and all we ask that the moment they click on the link for the channel that the Father Mother God will touch them whether they stay or not and give them a profound blessing that will reawaken their heart to their soul's journey to the Supreme. We pray this night for the little children of Syria in Lebanon living in Tent City with no clothes proper for winter and no proper footwear, living in tents with snow almost over the tent. We pray for all prisoners of conscience. We pray for peace in our world. We pray for all religious leaders to unite and to embrace the supreme in the heart of each one. We pray for those religious sisters who've been taken prisoner, that they will be released. But we ask Almighty God to give them the inner strength, knowing that they are protected by the love of God. But we also pray for our brother and sisters of the Baha'i faith, who are still in prison and have been for three years now, in Iran. Let us pray for an end to religious intolerance and pray that the children of the Abrahamic faith, where there is most trouble and discord between Jew, Muslim and Christian, that they will give heart service to God and not lip service. Let us bring all our requests now as we sit in the presence of God and we say thank you God for your blessing on each one of us and I would like to pray for dear brother Rob who's got a chest cold 
and for those who are dying tonight. Lord, together let us pray the prayer that you gave us. Our Father, Mother, God Supreme, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us tonight our daily bread. Forgive us our foibles, our failings, our indecisiveness. For harboring unforgiveness, forgive us, Lord, and lead us not astray, but deliver us from the forces of evil and negativity that seek to take us from our paths. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray the closing prayer for the third Tuesday of Advent. And the prayer reads, bear with me now. Father, Mother God, by your will, your Son took upon himself that human nature which you fashioned and redeemed. Grant that the Word, who took flesh in the womb of the ever-Virgin Mary, and became a man like us, may share with us his Godhead. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Father, Mother, God, I ask your blessing on all here. And let us pray just a reflection as we go. May the peace of what is sacred to you enrich your heart and empower you to come to the manger with an open heart, trusting that God who sees your needs will bring them to you when the infant child embraces you. Go in peace to love and to serve your God. Amen. Namaste Shalom. Inshallah Paxet Bonum Om Shanti Solo di Caritas Salam Alaikum Peace. And this evening we have Sister Eleanor on Doves for Peace at 8 o'clock with an Advent Reflection and I'm back at midnight on this channel. Hope you can join Sister Eleanor at 8 o'clock this evening, London time.